Now, the dirtiest thing in your home isn't in the toilet. It can actually be found in your kitchen because the sponge that you use for cleaning your dishes and the tables is crawling with more bacteria than almost anything else at home. So in this video, I want to explain two things. First, uh, why are there so many bacteria in the kitchen sponge in the first place? And second, uh, what can you do to prevent bacterial growth? So hi, hello and welcome again. Microbe Hunter here. I'm Oliver and in this channel we explore how microorganisms influence our daily lives. Now I want uh, to start off uh, with a story. Many years ago when I was still a student in school, one of my teachers, an English teacher, he was an older man who had been a soldier during the Second World War. He told us about life uh, in the army and uh, at that time he told us each soldier had their own dish probably made of metal, maybe aluminum, like a small pot uh, with uh, also a spoon and a fork. And after every meal, they were told to wash it thoroughly. And the reason uh, they were told is, is to prevent illness. But some soldiers, uh, they really didn't bother. Maybe they wanted to look tough. Uh, maybe they were just lazy or maybe they thought that dishwashing wasn't part of their, well, self-image. Whatever the reason, uh, they skipped the cleaning of the dishes and then it happens. Uh, this is basically what my teacher told us. Those who ignore Ignored the rule, they got very sick. He told us massive diarrhea, and uh, he also told us uh, that they quickly learned their lesson and started washing the dishes properly. Uh, he did not tell us whether he was actually one of the people who did not wash the dishes properly. Well, the reason why they got ill is quite simple because bacteria were growing on the leftover food stuck on the dishes and uh, that made them sick. Um, today hygiene standards of course much better but some things still get overlooked and one of the biggest culprits in the modern kitchen is the sponge that we use for washing the dishes. Now first of all the fact that a kitchen sponge is the home of so many bacteria is nothing new. This has been known for a long time and honestly you don't even need um, a scientific study to find that out. Um, so why is the sponge such a perfect home for bacteria? Well there are actually two main reasons for this. Uh, it stays moist because it's in constant use and tiny food particles get trapped in it and this gives the microbes both uh, the water and the nutrients that they need to multiply. So every time when you use a sponge to wipe your table or the dishes you end up spreading more bacteria than you remove and for this reason I recommend that you please rinse your dishes thoroughly in running water after you wipe them with a the sponge. Now when I started to study microbiology many years ago uh, we were told to collect different samples from our home and bring them to the university to investigate them for the presence of different bacteria. So I took samples from the surface of my desk, uh, from door handles, uh, from the toothbrush and also I squeezed out some water from the sponge that I used to wash the dishes with. Um, and what surprised me was not the fact that I found bacteria in the sponge at all. Uh, I already knew that by the, the, the bacteria could be found pretty much anywhere. But what surprised me was the fact that the bacterial density was so extremely high. And other students who also brought along a sample from the sponge um, found the same. You see, um, toilets are frequently cleaned and sometimes also with very aggressive cleaning substances, but the kitchen sponge is often overlooked. Of course, uh, studies were conducted and one study proposed that in the United States alone every year 76 million cases of foodborne illnesses are spread over the kitchen because of unhygienic food uh, handling. And in this context, and now I quote, kitchen sponges deserve attention as playing a possible part in this. Of course, research has taken kitchen sponges also under closer inspection and not surprisingly they found a wide range of different bacteria in, in the sponge. But some of the bacteria belong to Staphylococcus, Campylobacter, and also Salmonella and Listeria. And honestly, um, if you know anything a little bit about microbiology, then these names should make you cringe. The study states, I quote again, foodborne pathogens can persist in a kitchen environment and they may spread using kitchen sponges unless properly disinfected. Now, I think that disinfection might not even be necessary if you adhere to a few basic uh, guidelines. Now, what should you do? Well, it's really quite easy. Rinse out the sponge with hot water. And uh, this not only removes the bacteria themselves, but it also removes the food particles, which are also the food for the bacteria. Squeeze out the water completely and allow the sponge to dry completely because bacteria need water to reproduce and they cannot reproduce um, in a dry sponge. 
rinse the dishes in running water after you cleaned them uh, with the sponge and use also disposable paper towels for raw meat juices. So you want uh, to also exchange the sponge regularly of course. The kitchen sponge will never be completely sterile and it also doesn't have to be but by keeping it uh, reasonably clean dry and by replacing it regularly you can prevent it from becoming a hotspot for possibly harmful bacteria. Running around with a disinfectant to sterilize everything uh, could even be counterproductive over the long run because frequent use of antibacterial substances not only destroys the natural bacterial flora of your hands but also has been shown to increase the possibility for allergies. You have to train your immune system as well. But I think uh, that this is yet uh, again topic for a different uh, video. Um, that's all for now. If you want to see more um, about how microbes affect uh, our everyday life, uh, there are plenty more videos in this channel. Happy microbe hunting and see you in the next video. Bye bye.